Hey, I'm Corey Shankle, and I'm here with my buddy Joel Grevy, and uh, we want to talk to you about an event that the Lord's put together in just this, this dramatic fashion, really. He's called it about in just the last two weeks. It's called the Mercy Seat, a call to the prophetic destiny. And really what it is, is it's a call for all 88 counties in Ohio to arise and become the state that swings the sword of the Lord over our nation. And so we're calling all 88 counties to gather in Stryker, Ohio, at Emerging Streams on November 5th, from 8 to 8, to lift up governmental worship and a love song to Jesus, uh, to swing the state and this nation. And this really birthed out of Joel's heart. We actually had a meeting, and so I'm going to have Joel just kind of share his heart of what the Lord's been showing him. About two or three months ago, um, my friend invited me to do a Relay for Life, and that we were doing worship um, for this event, and you know, the people are walking around. And I have the Lord's been talking to me about certain things in my life and that I've known, and um, I think we all kind of have those times where you know something, and then I heard the Lord say to me very, very clearly, he says, you're called to release um, prophetic destiny over people, cities, and nations. And, uh, you know, I'm like, all right, Lord. And it was like something hit me. And I was like, okay, God, like whatever this looks like, I know I have this call. And um, I mean, you can go through all the things of like, oh, I'm not qualified for this or whatever. But I that was like the very marker of what we're at right now, why I'm, I'm feeling so strongly about Ohio and our nation. And with this election stuff going on, there is so much division in the church. There's so much division in our nation. And no matter who wins, we need the unity in the body. And we need the mercy seat of the Father to overflow. And we need to tap into that vein. And we need to, we need to proclaim prophetic destiny over our nation. Because it's so pivotal for our, our children's children. It's not just about us. It's about the next generation. So I had this picture of the the whole state of um, Ohio being painted gold. That we would lift up Ohio in gold. And really, and I, the Lord highlighted each county to me. And honestly, I couldn't tell you how many counties there was. But it was so prophetic and so profound that we were like, oh, of course, saying there's 88 counties in Ohio. And before we really understood or knew that, we were like, let's go 8 to 8. You know, we're going to go November 5th, 8 to 8. We're going to go 12 hours, and 12 is the number of, of governmental worship. We're going to go into governmental um, intercession for, for our nation, and we're going to have time slots so that we can actually connect with people um, in each county, that they can pray for their county. But we're, we're calling on you. We're, we're saying that right now, now is the time to move, to drop everything that you're doing and to come. There's something the Lord wants to release over your county, and we need people to come and stand in the gap. And we really feel like the Lord's saying we need to gather together in unity over our, uh, over our state and as Ohio goes, as, as the nation goes. Absolutely. And so we want you to come stand in the gap, pray for your county. We're hoping that a representative from every county will come and, and stand there. If you can't join us at Emerging Streams in Stryker, Ohio, on November 5th, we're going to be trying to put out resources so that you can stand in the gap at home in your own county. Uh, we're believing for the Lord to literally mark this day and shift our not only our state, but shift our nation. Uh, this isn't a time to to, to, to look at what is being done in the in the darkness and in the enemy's camp. This is a time to really release the heart of the Father and paint our city and our nation gold with the glory of the Lord. And with that, I also, we have uh, connections with houses of prayer. I I, I urge you, if you can, if you have a, a church, you have a, a worship team, that you just want to worship before the Father and just ask for mercy, just ask for his heart. We're not doing this as orphans. We're doing it as sons and daughters. We're going boldly to the throne. And the Lord has kept speaking to me again, even this picture, that the righteous are as bold as lions, but the wicked flee. And right now, the righteous are going to stand up, and they're going to be bold, and they're going to declare the liberty and the mercy of the Father over this nation and over our cities.